Welcome to Olympic Weightlifting 101. Uh, my name's Coach Ben. Uh, we've got Kieran over here as well, so he's going to be guest coaching with me today. Olympic Weightlifting, guys, is the, the two lifts that you see at the Olympics, hence Olympic Weightlifting. It was one of the original six, um, six sports at the first Olympics. So Olympic Weightlifting has been at every single Olympics, uh, and we're looking at two lifts, the snatch, and then the clean and jerk. Uh, so come in nice and close, guys. We're gonna have a look at the barbells first. Now, you can see the grip on a bar is called a knurling, so that's the grippy part. On the men and the women's bars, these outside lines are in the same position. The difference between a men's bar and a woman's bar is that you've got, uh, men's bar is 20 kilos, is the international standard. Woman's bar is 15 kilos. Um, it's also slightly shorter. Um, the bearings in the end, that, so they're designed to drop weights and be able to handle drop weights um, as long as they were using the rubber competition plates. Today, guys, we're going to do most of our work with the wooden dowel, right? Olympic weightlifting is like 90% technique, um, probably then maybe 8% mobility and then 2% strength. Right? Everybody loves training the strength stuff first, but when we learn Olympic weightlifting, we want to go through like mobility, speed, and then strength. Uh, you can grab one. <laughs> You're gonna like this get warm up game. Everyone place their stick in this position. Right? Now who knows that game pick up sticks? Coming nice and close. Cool. So when I say left, everybody's gonna move to their left and you're gonna grab the stick to your left. If I say right, you move to the right and grab the stick to your right. If you drop, or if any one person drops it, then everybody performs a burpee. Make sense? Yes, yeah. And left. Hey, good, left. Bro, come on. <laughs> left. Good, right. Right. Uh, so I'm gonna jump out. Lift, lift, right, right, lift, right, right. Good, hold there everyone, take one big step back. And we're just gonna go through what's called a pass through. So the goal is to keep your arms straight, right, and we go through 10 reps. Don't let your elbows bend. If you need to, you can keep taking your hands wider even if you have to duck under it. This next one is known um, as a shoulder dislocate. Don't let the name scare you. Take nice wide grip and then pass around the body. Cool. Good, again, go through 10 reps. The closer you can get the hands, obviously the harder it is. So all we're doing here, guys, is opening up our hip flexor. Weightlifting has a lot of deep squats. Rock forward and back for five, and you really want to push into that joint. Now turn your fingers to the sides. You're going to rock back, uh, side to side. Turn your fingers back. Good, lean back on it. So for the grip, we're going to start for our snatch. Nice wide grip. If you were to pick one leg up, that bar shouldn't go up or down, and it will sit right in the top of your hip there. Nice. Now. We're gonna do what's called a hook grip. So we tuck our thumb under and we grip it with the rest of our hand. The reason we do a hook grip is it keeps it closer to the body and it's the strongest possible grip on a barbell. It means you're never gonna slip. Tuck that knuckle down, lock those shoulders back, place your feet where you feel powerful to jump. Cool. And dip and hold. Nice, stand back up. Take the bar overhead, go to where you like to squat. Cool, give me a quarter squat and stand. This position here is just on that pubis bone, right? Dip and hold. In that bottom position in the dip, right, our shoulders want to stay above the bar, right? We don't want to be leaning over, to, leaning over it just yet. And stand, cool. Elbows nice and high. With my little kids, I call this scarecrow. So our elbows want to point to the ceiling. Now go to your toes, cool. And now catch. Stand, cool. Bring the feet back down, dip, stand. Scarecrow, catch, reset. So go back to that starting position with the feet, lock those shoulders back, hook grip, dip and hold. In that position there guys, I want you to think nice and tall in the chest, pulling those shoulder blades back and pretend you're holding a motorbike handle, I want you to turn that motorbike handle down. We call it knuckles down, right? From here, that's your high, 
Now you're gonna lean over it and go to the top of your knees and hold, right? In this position, everyone's naturally got a nice flat back and you can start to feel some load in your hamstrings, right? You're in a pretty damn good position to stay there. Keep your arms straight, so down here now. You're in a pretty good position to jump. So from here, come back to the high, scarecrow, catch. Nice. Mid shin, hold, go. Stand, nice. Re now we're gonna quickly cover the shoulder position. So everybody take the bar overhead, right? In this catch position, you wanna cock your wrist back slightly. You can choose to maintain hook grip or if you've got good, good wrist mobility, um, sorry, if you have good wrist mobility, you can maintain it. If you've got poor wrist mobility, like me, you can release your thumb. Lock out the elbow, press, and show me your armpits. So I don't want this position. I wanna see your armpits. Cool, cool. Hold that position for me. Go to where you like to squat. Squat down as deep as you can and keep your armpits facing forward the whole time. Cool, where are they now? And stand, did everyone feel them kind of rotate in on the way down? That's why we usually wear Ollie shoes so we can have a bit more mobility. Cool, squat down again, hold, keep that chest up, drive those knees out really, really hard. Stay feet flat on the ground and stand. Cool, and rest, weights down. Nice. Um, let's get barbell out. Okay, so everybody should be gripping outside the furthest line. For me, I'm short, but I got like monkey arms, so I leave about an inch of gap. Cool, from there, lock those shoulders back, turn those knuckles down, you're just gonna bounce that bar up and down, right? Does that hook grip feel shit? Awesome, that means you're, that means you're doing it right. Cool, okay, just lift that bar overhead for me. Release the hook grip if you want, or you can keep it. Cock the wrist back, press into the bar and lock out those elbows. You're gonna take your hands right to the edge of the collars, bro. Yeah, that's it. Lock out those elbows, good. Hold that position. Now go to that quarter, quarter, uh, quarter squat stance. Hold, everyone, arms, pits facing nice and forward. Do you feel nice and balanced? Right, 50-50 heel toe, you should be midfoot. And stand, lock out those arms, press into it tall, go a little wider with your grip, mate. Squat, and stand. Awesome, and bars on the ground for me. Place it down. Nice. Good. Awesome. Um, so Karen will stay facing you guys. I'll go side on now. So lock those shoulder blades back. Dip, scarecrow. Good. Dip, scarecrow. Good, dip, catch. Stand, reset the feet, bring it back down. Dip, knees, scarecrow. Dip, knees, scarecrow. Good, hear the ting in the bar? Dip, knees, catch. Stand, reset, go through a power snatch, but pause in the catch position for me. Set, jump, land, power, freeze, now squat all the way down, and stand, cool, and weight down. So the power snatch and the squat snatch mechanically are exactly the same, right? A full squat snatch, or just what we call a full snatch, is technically a failed power snatch, right? So he attempted a power, but he can't get the bar high enough, so he lands in a full squat. When you watch them at the Olympics, they all squat snatch because that's the, that's the way you can lift the most amount of weight when you're that experienced. Uh, I'm just gonna show a full clean jerk for me, bro. So the snatch, we move weight from the ground to overhead in one, uh, one movement. So right now we're gonna have a look at what's called the front rack, right? Which is here, so the quarter front squat. So, pick up the bars, top of your knees, squat, mid shin. Good, stay over the bar. Shoulder, shoulders over the bar, jump. yeah. Arms are like ropes, guys. Okay, squat up, top of the knees, stand, shrug, awesome, and then you catch. So this position, nothing changes. Jump and land in that catch position and pause, right? Your goal is to get your elbows all the way in front of the bar and the bar land on your shoulders. Like I said before, it can be performed without your hands because most of that weight needs to land on the shoulders. Try and get out of the habit of holding it, right? That's going to give you a lot of wrist pain, a lot of elbow pain. 
So I like to say commit that elbow and get all the way through. Cool? Okay. On the back, dip, knees, go. Hey, you're going to go way faster. Stand, reset. Knees, mid shin, slow, go. Stand, it's awesome. And we're like, wait. So I want you to place the center of your foot over a line. Cool. Because when you stand with the barbell on the front rack, if you were to look side on, that bar is over the center of your foot. The snatch, we do that drill by lining the toes on the end of the line. The jerk, we put the center of our foot over the line. Cool. Now, when we uh, receive a jerk, we're going to jump and land in a split stance. The distance from the heel to the line and the toe to the line needs to be the same, right? Because if you're standing here with the bar over the center of your body or the center of your foot on your shoulders, you dip, you drive that weight up, you divide your body 50-50, front and back, you lock out your arms, the weight is still over the center of that line. You stand up, front foot, back foot, theoretically, you should still be over the center of that line. So in a clean, uh, so in the full clean and jerk, ideally you would not move from the spot, right? Very, very hard to do. So right now, guys, take your stick, place it this way between your legs. Cool. Stand with the center of your feet in front of the uh, center of your, uh, of your foot over that line. Take a small step forward, small step back on your toe and hold. Right. Look down. Make sure the heel to the line and the toe to the line is the same and everyone's going to hold that position. The back foot is on the toe and you should feel like you've got 50% of the weight on your front foot and your back leg. Half and half, not leaning over. And Karen and I are going to come around and make micro adjustments. So, this time, tall to your toes. Think about getting that front foot out there. Go! Good, look down. Are we closer? Dip. Recover, front, back, reset. Gotta lock those elbows. Dip, go. Recover, hold, hold, bar down. Nice. Now let's have a look at the full thing with the stick, then we'll get the bars out. So, stand over that one, hook grip for me. Knuckles down, shoulders back. Exactly the same as a snatch. Dip, top of your knees. Squat, mid chin. Slow, jump, land. Stand, reset the feet under the hips, elbows slightly from the bar, big deep breath in, double chin, dip, go. Recover, balance, recover, nice. Look down, knees over that center line, nice. Cool, bars down, awesome. Three. Nice, lock those shoulders back, dip, top of your knees, mid shin, slow to the top of the knee and hold. Are you over the bar? behind it. Stay over the bar. Good. Jump and catch. Stand. Reset the feet. Make sure you're on that line. Good. Elbows in front of the bar. Big deep breath in. Double chin. Dip. Jump land. Recover. Front foot. Back foot. Keep the elbows locked out. Bar down. Nice. Oh, top of your hip. Sorry. It's much harder even with the empty bar. Double chin. Punch that hip. Dip. Go. Lock out the arms. Cover, front, back, shoulders, down, bars on the ground. Down, yeah, dip, knees, machine, go. Stay, reposition, big deep breath in, release the hook grip, go. Recover, front, back, shoulders, hip. And 
No questions? No? Cool. Guys, you're